How's it going? My name is Zachary Green, and I'm doing the presentation on Takashi Murakami. So background, Takashi was born on February 1st, 1961 in Tokyo, and this is pretty much where he attended all his schooling, which, whether it be at the National University of Fine Arts and Music or when he was in elementary school and such. Then he went on to earn a bachelor's in fine arts in 1986, and then a PhD, and overall he's really famous for his contemporary art and using pop art in, within his work. And he's also he's um, known as a Japanese neo pop artist, and this really helped a lot of communities grow, like the anime community, because he incorporated anime and manga and such in his art. And he's known to use his pieces to help sort many great causes in Tokyo. So his early life, just a quick glimpse. He was born and raised in Japan, as I said before, and after school, he had his first show at the uh, Ginza Surigata Gallery. And from then on, he traveled to New York, and he always felt New York was a very good place for artists, as he quoted one of the art worlds of Vital world's Vital centers. And from there, he developed the theme throughout his works as a young age, and this theme was really incorporating the Japanese culture into his pop art strategies. So one big thing he was he well part of was super flat, and he was always, to give background, he's always very big into anime and manga, as I said before, and pretty much this is what Superfly is based on. And what Superfly is, it's a postmodern art movement that he created, and there's a lot of different artists within it, and there's really no definition as to what it is, because that's what he wants it to be. And this is one of his biggest projects to date, and he collaborated with many other artists, and pretty much they're all just kind of flat and forms of Japanese art. And here you can see we have the one image, second one's really popular with the flower, and then the third. Uh, second piece is uh, 727, 1996, and he refers to himself as Mr. D.O.B., and that's his alter ego, and the title of this piece is reference to playing these as a child. Uh, third piece is Who's Afraid of Red, Yellow, Blue, and Death, right here with the skulls, and this piece refers to World War II again, and the impact it has on the Japanese culture. He does talk about World War II a lot, and a lot of his artwork's based on that. And then lastly, he's very known for his collaborations. Right here, you could see on the right, whether it be Louis Vuitton, or whether it be with like Kanye West, Kid Cudi, et cetera, or Supreme. He's always very big, and this is why he's very big in pop culture today, and why a lot of people know him based on his collaborations. And his pieces go for a lot more, a lot of money with his collaborations, because they're all very limited. And uh, that's it. Thank you for